Here's the thing about Hunt. Most players are probably on edge and really nervous. And they are probably just as scared to see you as you are to see them. This leads to situations where both parties basically just hide in a small crevice, where they feel safe and wait for the other side to make a move first. It's kind of a battle of who is more patient. And typically what happens is the person who is least patient gets destroyed. So we pulled a dum-dum and ran in. Turns out this is a boss arena. Oops. We panicked having never seen a boss in this game before and ran right into the superior patient player. It was a bit frustrating. The thing I quickly learned about this game is that you're not gonna have a blast if you don't equip a melee weapon. After setting off just about every possible noise trap in the game and alerting the entire map to where we are, we came up on the last clue we needed to find the boss and get our bounty. Do you know what that means? That right there? It turns out that when it's red, it means there's another player nearby. Like, really close. Actually, turns out you don't need a melee weapon to have a blast. You have to understand. Even if you try to avoid making a lot of sound, you're gonna make a lot of sound. Speaking of making a lot of sound, there's these poor horses that are hurt, and they make really loud noise when you get near them. So sad. For once, the other team was making more noise than us, and we decided to sneak in and get the jump on some suckers. My boy was on point. He had the shot lined up like this was Call of Duty. This is so easy. Nothing could go wrong with this plan. And he choked it. One of the things that I also picked up was not to stand in one spot. What do you think is gonna happen if you just take a shot then stand there? All right, looks like it's time for me to clutch it. Oh, okay, I guess it was just a team of three. Hello? Oh, wow. Man, I don't understand all of these animal abusers. Just look at these poor malnourished dogs. <sighs> it's so sad. We got lucky again and managed to catch another group off guard. This time I decided to mix it up. My combat plan was to just rush in and not aim. I took out guy number one, and then I took advantage of the second guy freezing up to heal. I try to flank him, but we both had the same idea. I forgot my own combat plan because I was panicking, and he used my own tactic against me. It's kind of funny how when I got defensive and tried to avoid rushing in, I died. It's okay though, because my boy has got this. And he choked it in. It's okay though, because Ally finally learned the value of not aiming after this and started clutching it. I think that was his first kill like ever. I go to flank the second guy, but again, we both had the same idea. I panicked and missed the shot, but homeboy cleans up. We weren't really trying to play the objective, but kind of accidentally found the boss. We started the boss fight and did some pretty good damage before getting paranoid and worrying about other players showing up. My main man gave away our position, so I guess we're gonna have to fight. Oh, sorry, were you waiting for something to happen? Remember, it's a well-known fact, whoever waits in a corner the longest wins. Anybody who says anything about, like, rushing in is stupid. Time was passing by. I'm not sure how long we were waiting. I forgot that there were actually other people there. It must have been hours, days, who knows. I just wonder, who is gonna get impatient first? That is, if there's even anyone there at all. <laughs> I might just be going crazy. Hello, motherfucker. Home dog is on a roll! He's really redeemed himself! See, this strategy is perfect! Now, if there's one thing that I'm a huge advocate for, it's keeping your distance and camping in a corner as long as you can until the other team gets bored and would rather die than wait around any longer. We cleared out the team, and it was time to now 
face the butcher. This thing really made me uncomfortable because it reminded me of my ex-girlfriend. In the end, it blew up, just like that last relationship. And just like my last relationship, it couldn't just be over. My boy trying to help gets caught in the middle of it, and he's taking the heat for me. I gotta hurry and wrap this up. I couldn't believe it. I thought that this was over and everything just kind of went away. But like any crazy ex, it never really does work like that, does it? It's over for now. After that heated breakup, I saved my partner just in the nick of time. Don't take your bros for granted, okay? They'll take some serious heat for you when it counts. Once you kill a boss, it's not over, because now you gotta banish it. You have a little bit of time during the banishing to set up traps and kind of prepare some sort of defenses for this process. At this point, the entire map can see your general location and you have to be really prepared to get hunted down because everybody wants that bounty. Luckily, nothing really happened and we were able to collect said bounty. I suggested we run the long way around rather than going to an extraction point right next to where we are to hopefully throw off any scalpers. We were so on edge on the way to the extraction point. We just had to wait 20 seconds and we were free. And we did it! That's another victory royale! Thank you for reading my blog post. I'll see you in the next video.